In this video, we're going to take a look at some creative ways that pallets can be used for storage purposes for all your swimming pool accessories. Alright, if you've ever spent any time on Pinterest, they have a lot of these on Pinterest, especially during the summer months. People are using old pallets from different uh, businesses, different ways to get the pallets. They're, you can get them free from businesses. All you gotta do is ask for them. A lot of times they just throw them away by their dumpsters. And uh, you can see here that uh, for pool noodle, noodle storage, uh, they can slide in on the side this way. These people painted this one a, a, a teal color and they put some hooks on here to hold their swimming masks and uh, swimsuits or whatever so you can secure them to the fence as one option let's take a look at some other things okay here's the same kind of deal here but if you'll notice they uh, have some extra posts here and they just secured it up against the fence as opposed to securing it uh, strictly with the fence I guess to give it that extra support also if you have it up against your fence then you know is they're gonna be walking through the mud to get to the to the storage or where to put their towels so they have some little foot st uh, stepping stones here in order to make their way to the actual storage area there so that's something to keep in mind is it easily accessible for the people when they're getting in the pool and if you're gonna put it over there by the fence you know they're not gonna want to walk through a muddy muddy yard after it's raining during the summertime things like that a much simpler way to do it here they've just got a pallet haven't painted it or anything they just have it uh, stood up against the wall you'll see how they have their uh, their their pool net and their pool sweep poles along with a few hooks that they did add to this pallet right here so you know they just went the easiest way possible here it all depends on what you have in your yard what space you have you know these people here I see a fence right here but you know they don't have a wooden fence so whatever you have whatever works best for you with this project but it is a good way to keep your stuff in one place and not thrown all over the yard and left in the pool and it rains and these things get blown out of the pool or clog up your skimmer so definitely a good idea as far as keeping things in order and stored all right these guys here have these little baskets also uh, screwed into the fence can uh, they've got their pool uh, poles here up the top that may be hard to reach possibly uh, if you're a shorter person, they've got the hooks here, you've got the noodles slid in from the side, you've got hooks for your towels and your swimming mask, things like that. So they've got pretty much the same idea going on. So again, here's a simple one leaned up against the back or side of someone's house, but I do like how they've colored it here, they've, they've painted it, and they've used the slats in the palette in order to make different rules for their pool. So. You know, no, uh, no running, no peeing in the pool, use sunscreen, don't drink the water. So that uh, looks more attractive, I think. So if you could take the time to at least paint all the slats and then, you know, make this a family project with your kids or something like that, I think that they would all get a kick out of that and I think they would take pride in that. So I like that that one is got a little more personality to it even though it's not hung up on a fence or anything and again these people may not have a wooden fence or it may not be easily accessible uh, and if this is right there close to the pool where everybody's getting in you don't want people walking across the yard getting their feet muddy or you know before they get into the pool for example so this is a creative looking one here I like that one and here's another one like we've seen with the other ones here they didn't paint it or anything they just have it secured up to their fence and put some hooks on it so it's ready to go now here's something really cool and different this is pallets converted into steps and a deck so you can see on the right hand side there is steps they even use part of it as a way to slide in their uh, extension uh, extension pole with the basket on the end of it the pool net basket on the end of it and to the left there right before you get into the pool you have a small deck to stand on you even have some storage underneath there where you can slide a couple things uh, for storage purposes there so that is another use or another idea that some of you may be interested in 
And to get you something a little different here with the pallets, these people have turned a pallet sideways, put a board on the top of it, stained it down to make it look nice and uh, attractive looking, turned it into a little mini tiki bar on the side of their pool. You've got the wicker siding here around their pool to decorate it, a little umbrella. So this pallet here used as a little bar, t bar area. Hope this was helpful to you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I have a whole bunch of above ground swimming pool videos that may be of help to you. We appreciate your support and thanks for watching.